What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Brian Mark coming at you with another episode on this channel and in today's episode I'm gonna give you guys an update and it has not been a very fun update so uh, Buckle up sit back relax enjoy the episode. Let's go. So first off let me start by saying that like doing the fitness competition um, it gave me something to, like focus on it gave me like a sense of purpose and when you're really focused on something and you have that like single-minded sense of purpose, you just block out everything. Um, and blocking out everything was good because it allowed me to get the win, it allowed me to get the outcome. Where's my medal at? Shout out to, shout out to first place. But it also, um, the reality set in as soon as I got the medal and I was like, oh yeah. Regular life is, is going on and regular life right now means Cologne is on fire. Um, and I haven't really like fully accepted that. Like we're literally living out of a hotel room right now. Like this is like the reality of my life. Like me and Kirsten are both living out of a hotel room. We don't have our dog with us. We don't have our passports. So we can't just like leave the country. We were gonna initially fly to the Dominican, but we booked the flights there and then realized we didn't have our passports. So today alone, uh, we had to rebook this room. So we uh, had to rebook this room plus Haley's room plus Nick's room for another three nights. Um, then we had to book, well, we initially got our passport sent to Toronto because we got it sent to the hotel, but then we found out that they didn't get shipped because the planes can't leave because the airports are clo were closed. So we instead told them to hold our passports at the place. So now we're gonna fly from Toronto to Kelowna to pick up our passports and then stay there for a day. And then we're gonna fly to the Dominican. So it's been a process. And um, not only that, I also feel heavy because, you know, I just feel there's like this like, there's like two parts of me. Like one is like, I'm super grateful that I've created this like life for myself where I'm able to take care of my family and be able to travel and like vacation and, and get out when things like this happen. And then there's another part of me that like feels this intense sense of like responsibility to help and to serve and to like do what I can to help out the community. And so um, I've been like wrestling with my conscience all day. Like on one hand, I'm like super grateful that we have this place. And on the other hand, I'm like, I feel like I could, I should be doing more. So it's like, I'm doing everything I possibly can through Iron Energy. Like we're like, I'm making sure that all the staff are taken care of and that anybody that's like out of work for the next couple of weeks uh, still gets paid so that they don't run out of money. Um, we're trying to give back to the community. And then we also are like in the process of realizing that we can't realizing that we can't host our in-person event and that is fucking hard because we have like there's like 150 people that are supposed to come to Kelowna but right now like the state that Kelowna is in it just like it just can't happen like the air quality is horrible there's a travel ban right now there's 11,000 hectares of fire 30,000 people evacuated from their homes so not only did we have to plan the personal stuff, but then on the business side, there's like this massive event that Peach Domination is hosting that we're gonna have to turn into a virtual event. And so like realizing all that today, right after my show finished was a lot. Like I literally did it all. And then I had like a headache that was like so pounding that I literally just laid in that bed and fell asleep for an hour, but I still have to figure out what I'm doing with the event. So um, I woke back up, I've got my mastermind coaches meeting in literally eight minutes. And on the mastermind coaches meeting, we're gonna discuss how to make sure that the event is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and that we do our very best, like Cologne is the home of PT domination. Like it's where all the events have ever been hosted. It is where Iron Energy lives, it is where it's where we bring together the community and our and our home is struggling right now. So, you know, like finding a way to use my reach at Peach Domination to give back to the community is the goal. And so our intention is to host a virtual summit where we get together Peach Domination and then a portion of the proceeds of the summit end up going to the community. Like that feels super right to me. So that's what we're gonna do. But it's been a lot. <laughs> It's been a lot. Um, so I'm about to head into my mastermind coaches meeting. Um, I'll give you guys an update after that. Um, 
So let's do that. All right, so we just finished up our meetings. Honestly, I feel a lot better. <laughs> needed to plan it out. Just plan out the entire virtual summit with the, with the mastermind coaches. And guys, it's like, when you're in a state of crisis, it's really easy to get sucked into it. And I definitely did get sucked into it. Like I was definitely like in the thick of it mentally, but it's like, you just gotta remind yourself that you cannot control what you cannot control. Like I can't control the fires. Like that's just like completely outside of my control. There's absolutely nothing I can do. So what I can do is what I can do. And that's make a plan and figure out exactly how I'm gonna navigate the situation. So that's what we did today is we navigated. So Pizza Domination will be hosting a virtual summit. Um, we will make sure that it is the best virtual summit that we've ever hosted. And we'll also make sure that it's the best virtual summit anybody's ever intended. We're gonna make, it, make sure it's valuable, that it's interactive, that like people come and get their lives changed. And that really is all we can control. And so that is the game plan. That is the move. That's where we're at. And I feel really good about it. And obviously it's like, it sucks that we have to cancel the in-person experience, but what sucks more is that my beautiful city is on fire. And so all I can do is make sure that I do my part and I host the best virtual summit that anybody's ever attended and that we donate a por portion of those proceeds to help out the families. Because I think a lot of people talk about helping out, but it's like I want to show it in the way that I know how which is I can give back to the community, I can serve, I can support, I can help, and I can also deliver a lot of value to my audience so that my audience can go out and make a bigger impact on this planet because the more people, that, more people whose lives I change, the more that I'm gonna be able to impact the community by shifting the trajectory and the perspective of all the leaders in the community. So that's it guys, that's all. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you got some value. I'm a vlogger now, so I document my thoughts, document my experience, document my life, because it not only, you know, I know that a lot of you get value from this, but tr truthfully, like, I do this for me as well. This is like my therapy. You guys are my friends. This is my diary. It's how I sort my thoughts and how I remember who I am. So have the best day of your entire life. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll talk to you guys in the next episode. Peace.